How to use Leonardo AI Consistent Characters. Now, what we're going to be using the most is this feature below user tools over here on the left side. As you can see, you have the AI image generation. So simply select this, and we will be able to be redirected to the generation page of Leonardo. Now, let me clear the prop here, and there we go. Now, first things first, the first thing you're going to have to do is, of course, generate the character that you want to be consistent with. So what I like to do is I would actually go in the homepage and look through the different generations made by other people. Now, if you already have an idea with your prop, feel free to start right away with generating your output. But for me, since I'm going to be starting from scratch, uh, we don't have any characters yet that we would like to have a consistent output on. So let me use the homepage over here as an inspiration to find topics or find a character that we would be creating a consistent uh, generation of. So let's look for a very simple one, a very cartoonish one. Maybe we could use this one as an inspiration. So this one uses Leonardo model Diffusion XL. Maybe not that one. It's a bit, uh, their prop is a bit minimalistic. So it's uh, going to be difficult to be able to create consistent character with a very simple prop. Uh, what you want with a prop is a bit detailed so that the generation will not have a hard time generating your output. Now maybe this one. Let's check this out. Let's see the output. This one uses Photoreal. Now Photoreal is not something we will be able to use as a free user, unfortunately. So let's look for another output over here. And maybe let's go and settle with a character such as... A very simple person. Let's settle with this one over here. Let's try to recreate this prop with a better output. So simply copy the prop, go to our generator over here, and paste the prop. Now I will not be using the same model as the one in the output in the reference that I used, but I'm going to go with the Dream Shaper version 7 so that it has a wide range of ability or a wide range of style to use add create or output on so let me create this and let's see the output that we will be able to get now that's the first step generating your main photo because we will be utilizing image guidance image guidance as you can see here on the top allows us to utilize an image to help us with our generation so it will use an image and use it as a basis so there we go, we have an output over here. So what I want is the girl to be facing us. So cast intricate pattern, slight shadow as the little girl Luna, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we need to have one that is facing us. So uh, let's say facing the camera. Generate it again. But these generations are pretty good as you can see here. It looks very nice, but let's have one that is actually facing the camera. So that we could see the image and like uh, think about what we would like the, the character to do on the next generation later on when we try to make it consistent. Hmm. I guess it's not trying to be or it's not letting us have the character facing us. But do not waste time. Let's settle with this one for now. Uh, you should download the photo that you like to keep consistent. And you're going to go to the image guidance over here. Uh, you're going to upload your image that you have just downloaded. Just like that. And there we go. This will be used as an image prompt. Now there's a lot of types over here. But we're going to settle with image prompt. Now the image prompt detects the style and semantics of an input image. And it will use this to guide your image generation. So we have the default strength of 0 0.45. And let's go back to our generation history over here. And what we're going to generate now is let's add some details. So, uh, Luna, that red dress is under the mountain hood where every decent term prevents crustle. Now, let's add a detail. Uh, Luna has wings. Uh, let's say Luna flying with butterfly wings. There we go. Then click on generate. Now, it's important that you keep this prompt as original as possible while you add the details because it will help the AI 
make it consistent even more. So this is our main, and let's wait for this one. Now sometimes it's not going to be as consistent as we want, just like this, as you can see. Although it did improve, uh, we were able to keep majority of the features, but as you can see, it will change. And I think the best one that we got out of this is this one over here. We were able to keep the character consistent, but with the additional feature that I have asked it to do, like the butterfly wings over here. Now we could improve or we could increase the strike of the guidance that would allow us to make it more close to the original. But let's actually make something different. Uh, let's add some action words. So uh, let's remove the flying with the butterfly wings. Uh, and let's say showing as the little girl Luna runs through. There we go. Then click on generate. Now this time we want the character to be character to be running inside the image. So let's see the output that we will be able to get. So this one is our original. Hopefully we will be able to maintain the style, the background, and even the character. But as you can see here on our second generation, it was able to maintain the appearance of the character, which is wearing a red dress. So now this time, uh, as you can see, it's still the red dress, but this time the character is actually walking like there's an action. Although it's not showing us the running action, uh, we were able to make it look like it is moving or the character is moving. This one was just standing still. And now this one is like making an action or moving as you can see here. Although the background is once again different, uh, that is something you have to play around with with the strength over here. So let's actually try one last time for a last generation what it would look like with the highest strength possible with our output. And let's show you guys uh, what that would look like. Now the higher the strength, uh, the higher the originality will be kept. You guys could also explore different type of image prop over here. Although there will be some uh, limitations because Prop Magic 2 is enabled over here. You're going to have to disable that if you want to use the other types of image generation over here. But as you can see here, this is the max one. Uh, we are still able to get or co completely maintain the main character. But now as you can see, there will be some difference. But that's it guys. Hope you guys when you try it on yourself. And that's it guys. Hope for you guys. If you try it out yourself. You'll get better outputs. And more consistency with the background. Although for us with our demonstration for today's video. The character is well consistent. Except the background. So you could just imagine that uh, this is entering the labyrinth. Then the second part or the second image is like. Uh, inside the labyrinth and then you could imagine that the different background could be different scenes the important thing is the main character or the character is kept consistent and it's different features so that's basically it guys if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching